What's up everybody, it's Caroline here from the DET team with tips to help you test your best. In this video, we're going to talk about the interactive reading questions. These are those questions you've been seeing on the practice test that go along with the reading passage and ask you to do things like title the passage, highlight the answer, fill in the blanks with a sentence, and more. Starting on March 29th, 2022, the interactive reading questions are a part of the certified test. These provide us with new and innovative ways to measure your reading comprehension skills, like the ones you'll be using at university. The good news is the test is still one hour long. In this video, we're gonna talk about each part of the interactive reading section and give you a few tips on each question. There will be two sets of interactive reading questions on each test. That means you'll see two passages, each one having six questions. The passages will either be narrative, which means more like a story, or expository, which means more informational and educational. Rather than a time limit for each individual question, in interactive reading, you have a time limit for the full set of questions. So depending on the passage, you'll either have seven or eight minutes to finish all six questions. As you move through the questions, more of the passage will be revealed. So make sure to be familiar with the full passage, reading new parts that are added and building on the knowledge of what you've already read. These questions will contribute to your overall score as well as your literacy and comprehension subscores. First up, let's talk about complete the sentences. Complete the sentences asks you to select the best option for each missing word. In this task, you'll see the passage with several blank spaces and select a word to complete the sentence. Here's a couple of tips about this question type. Read the entire passage first and use context clues to help you determine the best word choice. If you have time, read the passage again after you've completed all the sentences as a way to double check your responses. You can complete the sentences in any order and you won't be able to click next until you've selected a response for each blank. Next up is the complete the passage question. Complete the passage asks you to select the best sentence to fill in the blank. In this task, you'll see two sections of the passage with a missing sentence in the middle. A couple of tips for this one. The first half of the passage will be familiar to you from the complete the sentences question. Make sure to read each section thoroughly, especially the new material. Pay special attention to the sentences before and after the blank, especially if you're undecided about your response. And finally, if you hover over each option, you'll be able to see it in context in the passage. The third question type we're gonna talk about is highlight the answer. Highlight the answer asks you to click and drag the text to highlight the answer to the question below. So you'll see a question on screen, then find and highlight the answer within the passage. A few tips on highlight the answer. Be precise but thorough in your selection and make sure to highlight only the answer to the question asked. You don't want to highlight too much or too little. Also, the length of the correct response will vary depending on the question. And once you highlight the text, it will appear in the box below the answer so you can read it in context. The next question type we'll talk about is called identify the idea. Identify the idea asks you to select the idea that is expressed in the passage. In this task, you will select an idea from the list that best represents what you read in the passage. Read and consider all of the options carefully. Some of the options may be somewhat relevant, but make sure to choose the one that best describes the text. Once you select your response, the box around it and the circle next to it will turn orange. And last but not least, title the passage. Title the passage asks you, as you probably guessed, to select the best title of the passage. So in this one, you'll see a list of possible titles and you will select the best one to describe what you read. Read and consider all of the options carefully. Some of the titles may be somewhat relevant, but make sure to choose the one that is the best title for the whole text. If you have questions or need more information about interactive reading, make sure to check out the test readiness guide, which we'll link here for you. And you can also reach out to our support team. The best way to find them is through that orange help button that's on our website. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching, test takers. And leave me a comment down below if you have any questions or if you have an idea for a video you want to see on this channel. Please make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye, test takers. I believe in you.